Hi, I have an Hotpoint Aquarius WDL520. We select a cycle and press start, it fills slightly. Just below the bottom of the door then clicks and stops. The lights remain the same and the washer is stuck, nothing works. Turned it off at the wall then back on, selected drain and it will drain. Any ideas? Thanks in anticipation. Hi, I'm Daniel and I'll be helping you today. I've been repairing white goods for 20 plus years. And currently work for a well-known manufacturer. Are you getting any flashing lights from it? If so then look at the wash lights at the far right and let me know which ones are lit up. Regards. Thanks Daniel, the top light, seems to showing water filling, is lit in orange. The lock door light is red and underneath that the start slash pacey button is green. It starts to fill then stops before reaching the door, when it stops there is a click. Hi okay if you set the washer to just a spin only will it drain the water out and will the drum start to turn? Regards. No it won't, it starts to hum then clicks. It did this twice before stopping. I've turned it off at the wall then back on, set to pump out and it's drained the drum. Hi okay strange how it isn't giving error codes by the lights flashing. There's only a few things that can cause this kind of fault without error codes and that's either a blocked filter, a faulty wash heater worn carbon brushes or the control board. I don't think it will be a blocked filter as you say it drains the water out. So what you can try is remove the rear cover at the bottom and there you will see the motor at the bottom. Check the belt is still on. Then if so you need to lean the washer backwards and lay down and look under the washer. From there you will see the back of the motor. Check to see if there is any carbon brushes in there. As this depends on the version code on your model as some have a carbon brush motor and some have a three-phase motor which don't have brushes. If yours have them then remove them and inspect the carbon and see if it has worn down. If so then you will need to replace them. But if they are fine or you don't have the kind of motor then you need to test the heater. This is in the back of the drum so looking at the back you will see it. To test this you will need a multimeter so test it and it should read about 28 ohms. If faulty then it will need to be replaced. But if all the above checks out okay then it's possibly a faulty control board at the back which they do fail quite often on these but for this you will need to get hot point in as they will need to reprogram the new board with their laptop as the control boards are sold blank. So check them out and see what you find if you can. If you need any more info just get back to me. Regards if you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.